I'm Judge Janine Pirro in for Laura Ingram, and this is a special edition of The Ingram Angle from New York City. Tonight, Trump kills it in the blue city of Atlanta. The statement is, black folks are voting for you if you get gas under a dollar. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you, I got it pretty close. <laughs> And social media seems to think Vivek Ramaswamy is Trump's VP pick. He's here to respond. Plus, Biden officials exposed for trying to get rid of age restrictions on trans surgeries for kids. Tonight, we have the documents to prove it. But first, a mom beaten and killed, a 13-year-old raped, a 12-year-old battered and murdered. These are just some of the horror stories making headlines, and they all have one thing in common, Biden's illegal border invasion. And rather than apologizing to the victims' families and doing everything possible to shut down the border, the Biden regime instead is taking a victory lap. We uh, indeed have seen a tremendous success early on. It is indeed moving in the right direction. It's a remarkable implementation effort. The president's actions are working because of their tough response to illegal crossings and because they built on our sustained effort to exercise our full authorities to enforce the law. Wow, they're really going with mission accomplished, even though an estimated 5 million illegal immigrants who cross the southwest border under Biden are currently in America, and that's likely a low estimate, as it doesn't include the number of unknown gotaways. And even though a senior DHS official confirmed to Fox today that they have identified over 400 individuals brought into the United States from Eastern European and Central Asian countries by an ISIS-affiliated, that's right, I said an ISIS-affiliated smuggling network in the past several months. But Mayorkas says don't worry about it. With respect to the people from Central Asia, we have no evidence that they are individuals plotting uh, to harm the United States. Uh, that is inaccurate. We all know that the Biden administration is constantly letting individuals in, only to find out later that they pose a threat. Mayorkas even admits it. We screen and vet individuals at the border when we encounter them. Uh, if uh, we learn of information subsequently that gives us any cause for concern, we take law enforcement action. We, will we also learn of the terror attack subsequently? Furthermore, a senior DHS official tells Fox there are still 50 individuals at large that ICE is pursuing, some of whom may match the terror watch list. Does Mayorkas really think the American people are stupid enough to believe that a human smuggling network linked to one of the most anti-American terrorist organizations in the world is funneling hundreds of illegals into the United States just to give people a better life? It's ISIS, not the Red Cross. Enough with the semantics and enough playing politics with our national security. People's lives are at stake. My message to Mayorkas, listen to the actual victims of your open borders agenda, such as Alexis Nungary, the mother of 12-year-old killed by illegals. These men, these illegal men, took that opportunity from my daughter, from our family, of watching her become this amazing person. So now, with her voice being ripped away from her, I am going to be her voice and stand strong and try to make a difference in this world because this has got to stop. We have to stop burying our kids. This is not right. We have to have more reinforcement when it comes to letting people in. This is not okay. It's not okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.